Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge Love Arcatory. Where yes, we are here once again with the Easter Bunny because I cannot resist the cabbits. They're so cute. I am totally and completely in love with cabbits, our crossbreed between the Easter Bunny and cats, and the last couple litters have been amazing. But it is indeed almost time for the Easter Bunny to leave us. Hopefully I will be able to convince him to return again sooner than next year because the results have been absolutely amazing for the babies. But yet again, my friends, we must help him find true love. So let's go ahead and begin just like we did with his last two litters. He is going to be hopping his way through the backyards of our Sims neighborhoods and stumbling upon a lovely lady cat. So who, ooh, I'm pink. <laughs> I hereby choose to override whatever the random generator had to say, and we are going with the Maine Coon, who no doubt has slunk out of the bushes, thinking that this Easter Bunny would make quite the nice snack. But uh, instead of eating him, perhaps something about the glimmer of his magic, or perhaps he offers her a golden egg filled with all sorts of mice or something if he, she will just not eat him, uh, a romance has been sparked, and we are keeping this beautiful beautiful Maine Coon, who I am actually going to name Savannah. By the way, guys, I have been Savannah Huntress is what we'll call her. I have been watching a, a lot of a YouTube channel called Safari Live in the last few weeks. We stumbled on it on my birthday and I have been watching it every single day since then. It is live safari tours by naturalists and guides in protected areas. They don't even pick up like twigs or leaves or rocks. They don't leave anything behind. They take care of the animals there. It's fantastic to see. And I highly recommend Safari Live because I've learned to love hyena and I have learned to really fall in love with the open savanna. As you guys know, I love trees, lots of trees. The more trees, the better, the more greenery. Like I am, I could be quite, I have been at home in a rainforest. I used to live in a temperate rainforest. But all of this is to say that by watching Safari Live, I have fallen in love with the savanna. So I'm really hoping that we can bring a little bit of that beauty to whatever beautiful kits Savannah the Huntress Cat will have. We're gonna make her <laughs> lazy like a lion. They actually call it um, going flat when the cats lie down and sleep because they're just flat to the ground. It's really funny. We're gonna make her a prowler. And we're gonna make her very clever. There we go. All right, so Savannah, our huntress, who brings to life all of the beauty and majesty of the safari, and the Easter Bunny are now going to have more cabots. Let the fun begin, my friends. You guys know how we do this now. Whoops a doops. Nope, nope, nope. Savannah? <gasps> Your kittens are perfect, Savannah. They are everything I could ever dream of. I don't even really want to change them. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going to get six little kittens all lined up in a row. The perfect amount to fit, no doubt, right into an Easter basket. They look like little lion cubs. I'm so in love with them. And then once we manage to get all six, as usual, the Easter Bunny's magic touch. Oh, but I love them. Look at this tiny nose. Look at that tiny nose. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Some of my favorite cats and some of the cutest kittens combined. I love cabots. Okay, we're almost there. Hold it together, Siri. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, these little ones turned out amazing. But we are not done yet. As usual, the magic of the Easter Bunny is going to begin to spread through their genes and we are going to have their coats change, oh, which is gonna be a little painful because they're so beautiful as it is. I kind of just want to change the colors on this guy. I'm going to roll a dice. Can we just change the colors on this guy? The dice said a negative number. No. 
All right, well, let's let the magic begin, my friends. No doubt they will still turn out to be amazing, beautiful cabots. So we're gonna randomize the coat pattern three times. One, two, three. We're going to randomize one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> Look at you, okay. I wonder if this is going to turn into being like, I wonder if he's going to turn into kind of a like brown rabbit who is just going to be like a forest hare with a long tail. We're going to have to see. I don't know if he'll have ears and a haunch or not yet. I'm going to make him really fluffy. I'm going to make him kind of frisky. Maybe he likes bouncing and jumping all over the, pla the place. And I'm going to make him a free spirit. So he, I think that he's basically a fluff ball who loves to bounce all over the place. Even if he turns out to be all cat, no cabbage, uh, no rabbit either. I have a feeling this is just gonna be like a little fur ball who goes boing, 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 boing through the backyard. Just so freaking cute. Uh, and what am I gonna name you, little one? Hmm, your mother's name is Savannah. I am not, dang it. Twig? Why did Twig pop into my head? I don't know, but it did. Welcome, Twig. That was about as logical as naming one of the last litters Trout, but it just, it popped into my head. I'm just gonna go with it. I will not question uh, the magic of the Easter Bunny. Speaking of the magic of the Easter Bunny, let us begin. One, two. Oh, yes, we still have a Savannah looking cat. Then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you look like a little flame cat. Even your eyes are red. Holy kittens. Like even this guy's eyes are red. I think that we have maybe a very, I, I feel like we've got a little bit of a territorial sass bucket. He's really channeling some of the, the fiery lava and the fierceness. Um, gosh, what am I gonna name you? I kind of want to name him like after a volcano uh, or after like a hot desert sand. I need him to know more poetic words for sand. If the Inuits have like dozens of words for different types of snow, I'm sure that there are many people through human history who have dozens of words for sand. An impromptu poetry class. That's what we need right now so that I can think of a really like, I know that Hawaiians, my family's history is Hawaiian. And I know that Hawaiians had a lot of different names for lava. Ah, ah, I feel like he needs to be like a fiery magma. <laughs> I might as well name him Magmar for as elegant as that name is, but hopefully I'll think of a better name related to flames and fire and phoenixes and, uh, you know, burning savanna grasses in the future. I just feel like he is an extremely extremely like strong let's make him talkative too <laughs> extremely talkative extremely oh i could barely hear his little voice until that at the end so cute <laughs> such a cute kitten and then we have this one who is still our little boys we haven't worked our way over to our little girls yet we're going to do one two <gasps> you're so cute one two three four one two <laughs> Your name's gonna be Binks. I don't know why. You're just a Binks. Like, you're so clever. We're gonna make him clever and aloof and curious. And I feel like he is the perfect cat for a detective. I'm not sure why. I just feel that in my bones. I've done this over enough hundreds and hundreds of cats, dogs, kittens, and everything else in between. And I really feel like he'd be a good detective kitten. Meanwhile, this beautiful little girl, I think however she's gonna turn out, it's gonna be stunning. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you, RNG. Thank you very much that the random experiment has just completely and utterly given me the best results I could have hoped for. All right, let's go ahead and see what her last coat color is going to be now that she looks like the sleek huntress that her mother is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Let's see, one. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yes. 
Yes! She's so beautiful! I want to name her like, uh, I'm going to name her uh, Malaya. Malaya. I'm not sure why. That's just her name. It, she's beautiful. She's so beautiful. I can't wait to see what she grows up as. I think she is definitely a prowler like her mother. I think she likes to sleep in the afternoons like her mother. And I think she's a little spoiled. She kind of likes things her way. And that may lead her to ruling her own wild territory when she gets older. She's so stunning. This is so much fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. Wow, there's a lot of long tails on these kittens too. Like the very first litter we ever had, it was all bunny tails. But this time around, we actually have quite a lot of long tailed kittens, which is a very interesting observation. All right, let's go ahead and randomize this little one one time. <gasps> Truly, thank you again. Wonderful random genetics experiment for giving us more of these little huntress kittens. This is fantastic. Okay, one, two, three, then two, one, two. <gasps> she is so beautiful. She is literally like a little creature of the night, isn't she? This is amazing. Or maybe like a little dark chocolate bunny. We have to see if she's gonna turn out to be a bunny-eared one or not. Okay, four and one, one, two, three, four, one. <gasps> I think she's just like her sister too, a prowler who's a free spirit. And I feel like she's not spoiled, but I feel like she's a little lazy. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think she and her sister might end up forming a little hunting coalition together for sure. And then finally, we have our sixth and final adorable kitten. We are going to be randomizing the coat pattern twice. One, two. <gasps> We have even more stripes, which are very common on cats, but still it's exciting because we have the huntress as their mother. Then four, one, two, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to randomize five and four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, this one's kind of a mix of like the huntresses and that magma child. And I think I'm going to name this one uh, Sophiar. Not sure why, just the names that are popping out. It's almost as though like a nicheling sort of twist has been taken on by these kids' names. That's just the way it goes sometimes. And I think that this one is kind of like, I think he's a little aloof, but lazy and a glutton. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> so all of those things together means that she will also follow her sisters, but she kind of likes to let them do all the decision making and all of the hard work. So, okay guys, now it's time to see which one of these little ones is going to end up being a bunny and which one of them are going to end up being wild savanna cats. Let's begin with Twig, who no doubt took on the name Twig early on because, let's grow you up and see what you look like. Oh, <gasps> that tail. Oh, that's amazing. Especially because we now have our very first fluffy tailed, full bodied rabbit. Yes, indeed. Oh my gosh, Twig. You really did grow up to be a really cool rabbit. That's so fun. And then little Magma. Oh my gosh, Magma. You look like your mom. That is so cool. And Magma actually ended up with the haunches, but not the ears, which this is so cool. I feel like I have a bunch of Savannah Wildcats on my paws now. Oh my gosh, Magma. This is so much fun. All from the same litter too. Just a little bit of that magic to make them look a little different. And then Binks here actually ended up as a, let's see, as a bunny. So Binks does not look like their mom uh, and has actually grown up with the ears. Kind of small, is it just my imagination? Those are very small ears. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Binks. Those ears are smaller than your brother and father. I can state facts, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Literally no tail, by the way. There's not even a hint of a tail. Like, there's no bunny tail. There's no Manx tail. There's just nothing. Thanks. That's amazing. 
You have smaller ears and no tail compared to your dad who has a tail and much bigger ears, but I like you, buddy. I like you. And then let's see what these three beautiful little sisters will grow up to be. We have Malia here. <gasps> she's smaller than I thought she was going to be, but she's got the fluffy tail. <laughs> she has got the fluffy tail and she actually did not inherit either the ears or the tail. So she uh, struck out on both or, or the um the haunches, I mean. So she struck out on both of those, but she is stunning. Let's see how her sisters do. Oh my gosh, there's a kink in that tail. How did, oh wait, yeah, there's a kink in that tail. Is that like, I do have a kink tail mod. I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, I forgot to name, I forgot to name you a little one. I kind of want to name her like, um, like Ash, Ash Pelt, Ash Heart. Now we're just going straight into the warrior cat's realm there. But I kind of want to name her, let's go with Ashin. There we go. Very beautiful. She actually did end up with the haunches, but she did not end up with the ears as well. So we have another, another powerfully legged Cabot. I really think that Ashin, oh, look at that. Yeah, she could definitely help out with the hunting with her sister for sure. This is so cool. I would have never made a cat like this. Like if I sat down and tried to create these cats. That's why I love these random generation challenges so much. Then we have Sophia, another one of the sisters. Looks very much like their mother, but she actually did inherit the tiniest set of ears. Oh my gosh. Oh, no haunches. She inherited the dad's bunny tail, but at least she can use those big ears to help out with the hunt. But all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. It was amazing to have the Easter bunny by truly some of my favorites. I'm very excited for hopefully being able to see him in the future. And we'll have to see what kind of interesting crossbreed challenges stumble into our paws next time. But thank you guys so much. Who do you think you like the most out of everybody here? I love everybody in their own way, but Malia really kind of has my heart there's just something about her that is very enchanting I think it's just the contrast of her colors and the way that she might help to lead her sister well Ashen is actually amazing too I feel like they would make an amazing little like lioness hunting coalition to be honest it'd be kind of cool to see what they could get up to but yes do please leave a like to toss a carrot treat to the easter bunny because he has done some great work if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures then do please consider subscribing but most importantly guys stay curious and i'll see you all next time Bye bye